Hey guys, Diane here from Balance Bites, and I am back with another of your frequently asked questions. This time it's about how to get your omega-3s in when you can't afford to eat fresh wild caught fish all the time. And I have some great ideas for you because guess what? I don't eat fresh wild caught fish all the time, so I've got some alternatives. First one here, I've got some wild smoked salmon. That's been a favorite of mine for a long time. Growing up in a family that's half Italian, half German Jewish, we ate a lot of lox. So some of you may know it as lox, but that's a great source. Just make sure you look for wild, and this one says gluten-free on the label. Just kind of check the seasonings and spices and all that. This one does have a little bit of sugar in it. Uh, if you're not, you know, super strict about not having any grams of sugar, but actually the grams of sugar, if you read the label, is zero. So I think that's just an issue of how it's cured, which is another whole topic, but we'll look at that with our next item. I've got some pickled uh, herring. Another sort of favorite I grew up with, pickled fish and smoked fish, all that, all that great stuff. Another good source of omega-3, it's wild caught. So this is Blue Hill Bay brand. This you can find at Whole Foods. Again, this one has some sugar in it. And the total carbohydrate count is only three grams and five pieces. My take on that is really, when it comes to the curing of the wild salmon, you're not actually leaving any sugar content in the fish. Uh, when it comes to the pickled items, it's kind of a cost-benefit analysis. So if I'm looking for ways to get omega-3s in, if I like the pickled herring, if I'm gonna eat it regularly and I get a few grams of sugar, I'm active, I'm not on sugar detox or you know, dealing with some issue where any grams of sugar is a real issue for me, then I think this is a perfectly fine option. It's a few grams, literally it was three grams. So not a huge deal. Another one is wild canned salmon. Now, this is not the one that I typically get. This one I think has salt added. Um, there was one can left of this in my pantry and that's because I don't tend to eat it. I think my mom picked this up for me by accident, but props to my mom because she usually picks up uh, tons of stuff for me at Trader Joe's, which is amazing. And it's the one with, I think it's like a red label with white writing and that is a wild salmon. There's no other ingredients. So I'm pretty sure I've heard that Trader Joe's single ingredient foods like salmon or their coconut milk, for example, don't have any BPA in the cans, but I'm not 100% positive. I think that's the case. So anyway, that's another good option. Very, very inexpensive. I think it's under $3 a can, which for, you know, that many ounces of fish, it's about six ounces of fish. It's a pretty good price. Might even be just over two. I can't remember. And then here's one more. There are many, many more out there, but here's Wild Planet brand sardines and water. Even says right on the box there, excellent source of omega-3. So these are all great options if you don't want to do the fresh or if you can't, if you're looking for whole real food ways of getting omega-3s in. You guys know I recommend fermented cod liver oil, but it's not something that, uh, you know, it's not the real whole food. There's a whole different other list of reasons to take fermented cod liver oil. There's a whole blog post about it on my website. But if you're just looking for omega-3s, the absolute, absolute best way to get it is from fish. And so I've given you four options here. Do whatever works for you. I know uh, my friend Liz Wolf from Cave Girl Each does a podcast with me. Her favorite is sardines. She puts mustard on them. Sardines are not my top pick. So these have been in my pantry for quite a while. I tend to go with the smoked salmon, the canned salmon, and sometimes the pickled herring. And I'll get the fresh stuff when it's on sale. Get myself about six ounces of that. So there are your options. Leave me a comment. Let me know which are your favorites. What's your favorite way to get omega-3s from real food, fresh fish. And I'll see you guys next time. Be sure and subscribe to the Balance Bites channel.